What's happening, Crypto Fam? Happy, happy Wednesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning, I'm going to talk about Cardano again. Now, if you hold Cardano and are not staking, it's fine. It's up to you. If you hold Cardano and are not staking but want to stake, we're going to be doing a video by the weekend on how to stake your Cardano. I might actually wait until this update's done and then do it, which would mean a couple of weekends. So in the next few weeks, we'll be doing a Cardano stake, um, how to stake your Cardano um, with a bit more information as the platform and network and, and ecosystem itself progresses. So what's a Mary Hard Fork? Set to go live on March the 1st. Um, Cardano's much anticipated Mary Hard Fork is finally as a launch date. According to an update from founder Charles, uh, Charles Hoskinson, the Hard Fork Combinator, the HFC, event will take place on the 1st of March. Noting that the HFC will likely clear all the quality assurance and developer checks on the 24th of February. Hodgkinson added the actual event will be in the five days that follow its initial trigger from the previous epoch. Or epoch. Users on the network will have to upgrade their nodes by download, downloading the latest version of Daedalus. Now the Daedalus wallet is the wallet we'll be showing you how to stake your ADA from. Right? So if you're holding aid on, you want to stake them, you want to download the Daedalus wallet. Get ready to stake off that. They will, you will. I mean, I need. I got a little bit of help off June as well, and thanks June for explaining the saturation and whatnot to me. So if your little little finger throws a few inboxes, and like I said, there'll be a few videos. I'll I'll try and get back on the inboxes as soon as I can. There'll be a video on about it. Hopefully, by the See, I had it in my head, I what to do weekend, but I think we're going to wait for this update. Once this update don't comes, I'll do a Cardano staking video. But if you want to stake before then, um, or you want to start the process before then, just give me a shout and I'll try and get back to it as soon as I can. With it being at all time eyes and that, no one's really going to want to hang about, or some people might not want to hang about. So the users on the network will have to upgrade their nodes by downloading the native version of Daedalus in order to gain access to the network upgrade. We've been testing for almost a month on the test net. That looks good. Exchanges are happy. The Hong Kong, uh, the, 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 the input output Hong Kong CEO said. I don't know, everything's on schedule for the event. The rocket is on the pad. And it looks like it's gonna take, going to take off on schedule. The price has certainly took off, and it? 400% in a year or something. Daedalus flight. Will also be the first version of Cardano's cryptocurrency wallet that will support native multi asset interface. According to the founder, the upgrade to Daedalus Flight will take place in the first week of March and will be deployed on the Daedalus mainnet around mid March, following a two week burning. Over four months ago, Cardano released its Goldwyn roadmap with most parts scheduled for delivery by the end of February 2021. In fact, according to a timeline shared by Input Output Hong Kong, native tokens were expected on the mainnet by the end of February. If recent updates are anything to go by, it would seem that Cardano is on schedule to deliver Gogwin without any significant delays. It is also worth noting that Cardano's native cryptocurrency adder has rallied by over 300% since the beginning of the year, with the altcoin trading at 83 cents at the time of writing. Now, I said 400% because it was at 90 odd, 90 odd cents at one point, wasn't it? And that would have been 300%, so. 400%, sorry. It's absolutely crazy. When we start thinking how early we are, how, um, how much time we've actually got to begin. <laughs> to begin. That's the wrong word. But to, I mean, it is, it is to legitimately start staking. 
Um, it's come out of nowhere for most people, and most people were doing it all on the Ethereum based ones, but there's actually other staking platforms now, it's got nothing to do with Ethereum, it's got no naughty Ethereum gas fees and all that shite. Ethereum is dead to me as a, as a, as a currency or functional platform without the help of something else. Don't remove them fees, mate. I'm, I'm not using it. It's just, I hate using Ethereum. I, there's people buying NFTs and I'm like, cost you that, yeah. <laughs> fucking no chance, mate. Paying fucking hundreds of pounds for NFTs and shit and that's worth eight quid or something. You're having a laugh. So we're still extremely early in regards to crypto staking platforms, right? What can be done within the internet of value and stuff like that? We are extremely flaming early. But Cardano's Mare upgrade, apparently, according to Coin Journal, seeks to compete with Ethereum's network. The Cardano network is inching closer to the Mary upgrade, which could see the blockchain provide tough competition to Ethereum. Cardano's ongoing Mary upgrade could see the network challenge Ethereum by providing developers with the ability to create non-fungible tokens, NFTs and more. Input Output Hong Kong, the firm behind Cardano's development, conducted a hard fork on the 3rd of February and implemented the Mary upgrade, or the Gogan native token upgrade, into the testnet. According to Cardano's roadmap, the Mary upgrade will transform the blockchain into a multi-asset network, allowing it to compete with the likes of Ethereum. The team expects to launch the mainnet before the end of the month. The other features of the Mary upgrade will roll out simultaneously in line with Ada's roadmap various phases. The ongoing Cardano upgrade will see its native tokens have similar functions to ERC-20 fungible and ERC-721 non-fungible tokens on Ethereum. Thanks to the upgrade, Cardano users will now have the power to create their own tokens. Despite the similarities in function to Ethereum tokens, Cardano's native tokens have different designs to that of the leading smart contract platform. A major difference between Cardano and Ethereum following the upgrade would be the elimination of execution fees. <sighs> Fucking music to me ears, Charles. It's music to me, yes, Charles. <laughs> music to my flaming ears, Charles. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. A major difference between Cardano and Ethereum following the upgrade would be the elimination of execution fees. On the Ethereum network, users interacting with a token um, smart contract on a blockchain have to pay gas fees. Cardano wouldn't charge its users such fees. Ethereum networkers sometimes struggle to get retail investors involved in the blockchain activities due to high gas fees during network congestion. Cardano wants to avoid similar problems by eliminating gas fees from its network. No gas fees. No gas fees. No gas fees. <laughs> Cardano users also don't need smart contracts to create tokens, a move that could eliminate the possibility of fraud perpetrators exploiting smart contract vulnerabilities, human error, and other risks linked with smart contract. Ada races to all uh, to new all time eyes. The ongoing Cardano network development and positively uh, is positively affecting Ada. Cardano's native cryptocurrency Ada at a new all time high of 97 cents during the weekend. The cryptocurrency started the year at 18 cents. Went up by over 400% as it enjoys a general markets rally. The recent rally saw Ada surpass Polkadot in terms of market cap and is battling for fourth place with XRP. Cardano's recent price growth can be attributed to the excellent fundamentals and working principles the network is putting in place. I've got to admit, I am super, super happy I bought Ada. I thought I had a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. Didn't we all? Didn't we all, eh? We all think we got a lot of time. So I bought, I put, what did I, I put £205 in Ada. Like 45 quid on the 11th of December. And then I put 160 quid 
on the 23rd of December. It's £205 in a way. It's worth like 1,200 quid now, mate. And I thought I had more time. I had to put like a grand in it. Back at December prices, bro. I really did. I just didn't have a grand right before Christmas, did I? Do you know what I mean? I, I, I had money before Christmas and obviously we didn't go out, we didn't piss it up the wall like we used to do, we didn't waste it. Had anyone got a fucking present, I don't give a shit. We bought, I, I can't I know I ain't getting presents when there's Ada to buy, mate. You ain't getting no Christmas presents when there was Ada to buy, bruh. <laughs> I had to buy some and I did. And I'm glad I did because it went up five flaming times since. So enjoy that buy, bruh, because I did. I just wish I could have bought more, and it's the same with Polk, with Dot and all that, and Chainlink. I didn't buy any Chainlink back in the day, mate. I don't, look, I don't even look at Cosmos, mate. I don't even look at it, mate. <laughs> Atom, whatever it was. <laughs> anyway, don't be. People need to stop being worried about getting in at a high point and dollar cost average. And if, if, if Ada runs off now to dollars, mate. And one, two, three, four, five dollars, you're thinking, shit, I was kind of waiting for it to go below 50 cents again. I wanted to buy in low. Well, kind of fucked up, didn't you? Got 400 quid there to put in Ada. 200 quid now, 200 quid in two weeks. Dollar cost averaging. Won't sit and wait on, on, on your money thinking, oh, I'll wait for better prices. But they're oh, oh, guaranteed to come then, yeah. Are they guaranteed to come? No, they're not. People need to be careful. Um, Lastly. Lars Brunies, I can't say his name, I'm going to have to practice, Brunies, I've got broken jaw man, Bruni, my jaw don't do well with Y's in the middle of words, or, I know he's not got, he's actually not got a Y in his name, which he's supposed to, you know, I'm, you know, June, June gets it, <laughs> but yeah, I've got, an, we've got the interview with large Brunies, Brunies, see I can't say it, Brunies, Watch a few more interviews of people saying it, I think. We've got an interview with Lars from IOHK. The director of education, he's an extremely intelligent man. He, the guy, I mean, guy's got a PhD in pure mathematics. If I need to tell you anything more than that, then your, your, your brain's not on the same level as mine. <laughs> pure mathematics. Man's up there when it comes, yeah, you know what I mean? He's, that's, an, that's an extremely intelligent guy. Yeah, go and look at the requirements you need just to do pure mathematics. Not even what pure mathematics is. Just go and look at the requirements to get in to that PhD. So he's a director of education at Input Output Hong Kong. He does a lot with the languages. Um, like I say, he's into maths. He's into solving problems. And he's an extremely intelligent man we're going to have. A chat with him about incentives um, on the Cardano network, staking, smart contracts, the, the, like, the smart contract languages. Hopefully get to ask him about some NFT stuff. Ask him about his vision of the internet of value and how he sees all these NFTs and all the different future assets that are created becoming interoperable through multiple platforms it's going to be extremely interesting to see it move forward and it's going to be extremely interesting to get the opinion of someone like Lars I'm excited for it I hope you are too we will be recording it and then I'll do a little editing and that and then it'll probably get thrown up at weekends so stay tuned for it should be a good chat in the meantime go and look at Ada maybe you want some maybe you don't go and have a ganders at it Make peace with whatever decision you make because come 2025, you might wish you'd have bought some. Once them NFTs start dropping, mate, could legitimate. You're talking about Ethereum killers. I don't like saying that word, Ethereum killer, because there's too many, there's too many companies, ledgers, assets on Ethereum. You're not gonna migrate them all. You're gonna migrate them all to something else. Or are you going to use them in Ethereum virtual machines and use another platform to lower the fees to up the speed and increase reliability within the network? Because I don't want to use Ethereum at the moment. I literally don't. I can get fucked. I, I actually had Ethereum to pay gas not long ago. And in the end, I thought, I'm fucking sick of Ethereum. Just sat there. So I sold it. And then it fucking moon to new all-time eyes. I 
bastard. <laughs> it's all right. I put it in dot. So, and it was only about 60 quid worth. I already had 200 quid in dot. So I just wanted to move a little bit more in dot. And it only got me like 13 fucking dot. And I've and I not even got enough dot. Because I've got like 13 dot. I've not got enough dot to stake the dot. You need like 250 dot. So I've got a grind to get the fucking dot for staking now. I'm just glad I managed to stake a couple of... Well, I put like a grand, like I said, about 1,200 quid in add-on in, in staking. That's waiting to go in in Epoch, in the 250th block. Epoch, Epochs, they're just blocks, guys, so... Yeah, phone went dead. Well, phone didn't go dead. I ran out of memory. I had to delete a video. But yeah, and Epoch's like a block. I saw this on Facebook the other day. People was asking about, oh, what are these e e Epochs and that. We're on 249 now. My A dog goes into the stake by two. No, we're on 248, sorry. Then there's 249 starts in a few days. Then you got 250. My A dot is delegated from 250 as far as it's showing me. It takes like nine, two blocks for your stake to go on. Don't go on the block immediately. It takes like two. You have to wait for the current block to finish, the next block to finish, and then you're on. And obviously a block is an epoch, an epoch, however you want to say it. So, I wanted to make sure I came back and got that in. Because like I said, the phone cut me off. You see me looking down at the time before it cut off probably. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to the Wyra unit today. So I'll hopefully get some content for you from down there get some footage of the track hopefully a couple of cars going around it and whatnot um it's only a matter of time before that's ready for testing guys so again stay tuned on that as well and um stay tuned on the dave stuff dave's dave's gonna get some attention soon guys don't worry about that we're gonna be doing a live stream very very soon about the robotics and dave home assistant or dave assistant the robotic assistant. He's not a home assistant. He's, he's going to be a robotic assistant. You know him anywhere, mate. He's, he's going to Mars. I want to put a Dave on fucking Mars in 2035. 100%. And on that note, take care of yourselves, guys. Invest in internet of value. Invest in yourself. Live long and oddly it all. Free Reddit or let it go, yeah? Don't delay. Get some today, accumulate and wait, wishing health and happiness to you and yours. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.